Welcome to Feral's Technology once again. Today, what I'd like to do is talk about a challenge that we a lot of times have in writing our queries, and that is the solving the problem of must be an updatable query. This problem exists when you need to query some rather complex data out of your data sets. So let's dive in. Here in this query, I've got a very simple query from a stock database that has uh, a company name and where they're, uh, where they're located, the state they're located in, uh, the description of a vehicle they have and the category that that vehicle uh, resides in. The problem here is how do I make sure that this query stays updatable if I want to use it for another query on top of it? Now here's some keys. So as you look at this query in the design view, you'll see that there are a lot of different tables. Now, normally that would mean that this, that this query would not be updatable if there's multiple tables. And I'm gonna take the totals piece off of this. In fact, the totals piece I'll show you makes it not updatable. Notice it has multiple tables, but notice one thing about the links between those tables. They're not just normal everyday links. They are links that have been put on the relationships page. And when they have been created on the relationships page, when we go here, they have had their referential integrity enforced. So in other words, just by default, the data between those tables is going to update back and forth depending on what is necessary. So in other words, it knows when a record needs to be deleted or updated in any one of those tables. And if it runs up against a situation where a table, a record needs to be deleted in another table, at that point, it won't allow us to do so. Now, why do I say that? Because at this point, we don't have checked cascade updated related fields and cascade a delete related fields. So because we don't have those two boxes checked, if I want to delete customer data in one table, and that would require the removal of a whole product in the products table, it would not allow me to do that then because it wouldn't be able to cascade that delete and continue to maintain the referential integrity all the way up and down the string. So whenever it bumps against a situation like that, where it's going to have a record in another that's not matched to a record in the other table, when it runs up against that situation because I don't have the cascading on, it, it won't let me update. But in all other cases, it will because it knows the data and how it's linked and put together. Now, let me show you that. Here, if I go and go ahead and view this table, now notice I took off the grouping so at this point, if I decide to go here to your favorite things, and I just don't want that record anymore, even though in the design of this table, the customer table is clear on the left-hand side, and we got two other tables linking to the product description and category in the products table, I can go ahead and hit the delete key, and it'll ask me, you're about to delete a record, and I can say yes, and I can delete that record. Now it knows that that record is gone and it knew how to delete it, okay? So the next thing I wanna show is I wanna go to um, the, back to the design view. And if I put the totals query on here, now let's take it off for a second. Here we go and if we run this, we see down here when it tabulates all the records, we got 86 records. If I put it in design view, put totals on where I'm grouping by all these to eliminate the duplicates, and then I run it, I've got 79 records. So there are seven records that are not showing on this grid here. Now, if I wanna delete one of these records, it's gonna give me a little bit of an issue. So let's go ahead and try. See, nothing. I can hit the delete key all I want. Record not deleted, data is read only. So why is it read only? Why is this? all of a sudden turned into a non-updatable query 
because it's got six records, that seven records that are not showing here. So if I delete one, it doesn't know whether there's a duplicate of that record somewhere else that it should also be deleting. Or if there's a duplicate, which one should it delete? So the database can't determine that. So by default, it says, sorry, this is a read-only table. We're not gonna let you update. Okay, so here we go with another situation. So let's say I'm gonna take this totals query off you know, and I've already said that makes this table updatable. And yeah, I'm going to save the changes. I'm going to go down here to query five and I'll show you the design view for query five. And query five is just a delete query. And what I want to do is I want to delete all records from Connecticut out of that view. Now this is just a query. This figure 17 is a query. Okay. It's a select query from four tables. Now, will it let me? Let's run it and see. Could not delete from specified tables. Now, why is that? Hmm. Let's, let's go make sure that that table is updatable. And it should be, right? I could delete one record. Why can't I delete multiple records? Well, it's probably because not being able to delete multiple records means that it's probably running into one of those situations where it would delete the entire state of Connecticut. And that would delete from the state table. And that would cause a problem for other records that may or may not need to use or go through that state table to get its data set up. So, the referential integrity can't be enforced and therefore you've got customer IDs that might be impacted that are in that state, whatever the reason might be. But in any case, it violated one of the rules, even though this is an updatable query. Okay, so let's go and do another thing here. I want to change these relationships and I wanna take off referential integrity on all of these. And I'm going to click OK and I'm going to save my relationships. And now I'm going to go to figure 17. I want to see if now I can delete a record like I did before with referential integrity enforced. And it still allowed me to delete a record. Okay. So relationships allow you to delete the records. Now, Sometimes though, you don't create um, relationships in the relationships tab. So let's, let's go ahead and get rid of these tables in the relationships tab and just really break a lot of the rules of referential integrity. And that would be to deliberately um, enforce your, your links here, okay? So now it doesn't have a master rule by which to make sure that these tables are managed. And so now let's see if we can delete. About to delete a record. And yes, it lets me delete. So as long as you have those links, it looks like you can delete. I have worked for a long, long time to discover all of the conditions that don't allow me to delete because it's not an updatable query. And so if I go back here to query, query five, the one that I couldn't delete all of Connecticut and try running it, even with that, it says it could not delete from specified tables. Now, why is that, I wonder? Still haven't completely figured that one out. So let's, instead of saying just all from Connecticut, let's just do a select query here and run it. So I'm just doing a query on a query and if I want to delete, I can once again delete, but I couldn't delete all of Connecticut. So let's see if I can delete all of Connecticut this way. And I highlight all of these and hit the delete key and you're about to delete 11 records. So what rule is it that will allow me to delete the same records manually 
and not allow me to delete it in a query. And I think the, ba the bottom line really is when you look at Query 5 and you go to Design View and you look at the state, and we're gonna choose New York because we just deleted all of Connecticut. If we look at this, and then we go look at the SQL view, I think you'll find um, that the SQL view is where the, the problem is. It Right here, it says figure 17 dot state. And most of the time your, your query, before it evaluates this, it'll take figure 17 and throw the query code in there from query 17. And it'll have all the links and the inner joins and all of the criteria from figure 17. And then it will try to execute the whole thing all at once. And I, I get the feeling that it struggles. We're not getting the error message that says cannot delete because it has to be an updatable query. But we're getting closer to the understanding of why those queries don't execute. It all has to do literally with the bottom line of whether a query can delete from a prior query in the SQL code. The SQL code challenges the actual database engine to run itself simply because it can't compute or figure out all the fields involved and be able to delete it elegantly. So it just gives up and throws you an error and says, sorry, I can't do that. And, and literally that seems to be the only solution I can ever come up with. Now, the solutions I have applied when it does throw me the exact error, cannot update because it's an updatable query, most of the time it's because I'm just reporting data. And at that time I scratch my head and say, why in the world won't access allow me to do that? And a lot of times what I'll have to do is if I've really got to have the data to an end point, in other words, I'm massaging and building up a data set and getting it to an endpoint, many times I'll create a temp table in the middle. I'll purge it and I'll put it in a macro and I'll purge that table. I'll reload that table. I'll run the query against that table and do what I need to to finally get my result at the end. And really when all else fails and you just can't get access to cooperate with you, you really have to go to that level. So you see, sometimes you gotta be smarter than access in order to really get where you want to go. So I hope you've liked this video. I hope that it helps you to solve problems that have been real world problems for me anyway. And I hope that you hit the like button so we can get this video out to others and subscribe. Thanks for joining and we'll look forward to seeing you again later. Thanks.